Danielle, do you want to introduce everybody to where we are? <laughs> I'm getting the tattoo. <laughs> That's that. That's how I feel. Okay. No, no. We're getting, I'm getting um, my bikini waxed. So we are here at Smooth Wax Bar in Mount Vernon with Val. You want to sneak in there? Hello. Hi. <laughs> and she is going to do Danielle's bikini wax while we ask some um, questions that I think a lot of people want to ask and then don't know who to ask them to. Yes. So we're going to ask a professional. Yeah. I think the first question is, how long does your hair have to be? Yeah. Uh, it has to be as long as a grain of rice. Okay. So a boiled grain of rice. So what is that, a quarter inch? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I think that, yeah, that's about yeah. it. I've got like plenty nice. to work with. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you get waxed during your period? Absolutely. You can absolutely get waxed during your period. It doesn't matter. Wear a tampon, talk the string. That's the thing that you like, get the string and then rip it out. No, 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 it's across the room. Yep. So we also decided to film this while she's actually getting waxed mm -hmm. so that you can see an accurate representation <laughs> of the type of pain that it is. It's not bad. It's not bad. Like, do you remember the scene in Sex and the City when Sarah Jessica Parker was like, <laughs> it's not like that. I mean, there are definitely parts where I think, like, I definitely, there's like intake of breath. And yeah. it's like, but it's never excruciating in any way. Nope. No, and I really, but I also think that's partially your technique. And can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I use um, a little bit of soft and hard wax. We're gonna do our first trip right now. One, Deep breath, two, three, breath up. So I always use, um, I use a combination of hard and soft wax depending upon uh, what the hair type is or what the skin type is. Um, hard wax is especially better for um, sensitive skin. So we use that mostly on Brazilians. Um, and then I just make sure that I hold the skin really, really, really tight and use some pressure at the end and that usually takes the sting away. Yeah, that's so true because I've also, it's quick. I've gotten it done other places before and they don't use the two types of wax and I really think it makes a difference. It makes a huge difference. Yeah. So what is the most popular style of pubic waxing at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's honestly, it's, it's definitely still like all bald uh -huh. is the way to get is most what everybody's doing but there's definitely like this like surge of people that are doing the full bush brazilian what's that? where they basically take all of the hair leave everything at the top but they just take the hair off the labia and the butt crack i could be into that uh, if i had better <laughs> if i had better pubic care i could be into that yeah. so, <laughs> neither of those I just get what you can pretty much see in a bathing suit because I don't really give a fuck <laughs> you, do, you do what I would refer to as a high and tight high and tight yes high and tight. I get the marine haircut yes. Yes. we do yeah yeah oh, that's funny. yeah and we're about almost halfway done right now yeah it's super quick it's not that it's painless but it's not painful right. um, it's it's very Casual. I don't know. Yes, yeah. and I mean, she gets all up in there for me, and I still don't. I will say I'm a little bit more sensitive when I am close to my period. I think the skin is a little bit more sensitive. Really? Yeah. Yes, it, you absolutely. That's um. So you, the week before your period, typically you're more sensitive than even if you're on your period. Huh. The oh. reason is is that you have more blood flow uh -huh. in sense. that area because you're about to menstruate. So it's just with more blood flow, it's just more sensitive. When someone's looking for a waxer, what should they be looking for? Make sure that it's, um, first off, it's, I, cleanliness is my thing, mm -hmm. is just make sure you go into somewhere that, like if it looks like it hasn't been cleaned, it probably hasn't. <laughs> and it's like, if, and for me, if anything touches the skin, it gets thrown in the trash immediately. Yeah. So I never double dip. Yeah. And if you see your, your esthetician double dipping, run because that means that somebody else's skin cells and everything else are all over you too not cute no not no, at all we don't like that so that and like i don't know i mean personally for me i want somebody that i can talk to same that's why we love that one. that's why we come because here. it's like coming to talk to a friend it's yeah. like I'm getting a drink with a girlfriend yes. that just happens to be ripping the hair out of my body yeah right? it's like it's a little therapy session yeah and so now she's tweezing hairs that may not have been caught up in the wax extremely thorough. <laughs> oh yeah, and the coconut oil. Coconut oil after the wax. So the coconut oil, the reason we use that is because it gets any uh, waxy residue off. And it also is anti-inflammatory and 
antimicrobial, so it does has those properties, so it does calm the skin and also kind of prevents any kind of bacteria from getting into their pores. I always text Danielle after I got a wax. <laughs> like my vagina smells like coconut. Guess what I've been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Is it like should you have sex the day that you get waxed? Uh, probably not because your skin's already irritated. You don't want any more like friction further That's irritating right. your skin. Yeah. But honestly, it only takes about maybe 24 hours for the skin to calm down. If you're super sensitive, 48 hours. Yeah. But as soon as the skin's not pink anymore, mm -hmm. you can do whatever you want. Yeah. And to be honest, I've done it and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything that we should do to kind of care for the skin and the hair area after a while? Um, immediately after, it's just best to leave the skin alone and let it calm down for the first 24 hours. Then you really don't have to do anything for about seven to ten days because the hair is not growing back yet. Right. So, but once the hair starts becoming in like active growth, mm -hmm. then you want to make sure you exfoliate sure. with like a sugar scrub or a chemical exfoliant just to make sure that those hairs don't get ingrown. Yeah. And is there anything that we should be doing before we get a wax? Um, uh, just make sure the hair is long enough. That's it, really. And make sure you're clean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's so, always helpful. Yeah. <laughs> With a summer's eve wipe, I've bought I've bought like Costco wipes yep. before that work just fine. There's um also a I just saw this the other day a new brand called Love My Moth. <gasps> they really? Uh, what? Oh. Love My Moth. Love My Moth. Okay, writing that down. <laughs> Love My Moth. But don't flush your wipes. Don't flush your wipes. That, oh. that we learned. I have friends that didn't know that you weren't supposed to flush tampons. They thought that all the signs on in like Target and stuff where it says like do not flush your hygienic products, they thought that meant pads. They were flushing tampons everywhere, like their whole lives. Oh my god, I was never allowed to because we had a septic. Does this say on the wipes do not flush? No, it says that they are flushable. <gasps> That's the worst part about it. Oh, they no. are. Well, but also I think they're flushable. I mean, I don't actually think they're flushable, but a massive like tar a system like Target can handle it. That's true. But your old Baltimore City yeah. pipes are never gonna be able to no, handle no the, that type of debris. Okay, so are we done? No. We're close though. Almost. Yes. Almost done. That's amazing. So I, I am switching over to hard wax because I went in closer to the labia, which the skin is a lot more delicate, so I switch over to the hard wax and I'm using that. That right now. And right. so there's and there's Not no dark. strips with that. Nope. The hard wax is yeah. just wax. So yeah. she just waits until it's cool enough and then cool wraps it off. One giant piece. Bam. Oh, sorry. Or two. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. Yeah. It looks like a fruit roll up. It but. does. It totally does. It does. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> You're never gonna look at a fruit roll up the same way. No. Nope. Your first wax is always the most painful right. one. Yeah. Every wax after your first wax will be less and less painful mm -hmm. just because the hair gets thinner and finer each and every time. That's another question. So should you shave in between waxes? Absolutely not. If you want to get like the full benefits of waxing, meaning like the, the reduction in hair, mm -hmm. just keep waxing. You can do every three to four weeks and but basically what happens is the root stops Establishing because it's had it's not enough time and the hair follicle just eventually dies. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Rest in peace. And you Someone's... said you don't really have a lot of hair. No, I sort of naturally don't have a ton of hair. It's a little bit sparse. It's one of the reasons that I don't like leave that much behind because yeah. I feel like there's not <laughs> okay. an, enough to leave. Yeah. <laughs> but um and you have really light hair too. It's not as light as you would think. Oh. Prove it. Surprise! <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But yeah. So and it is true. And uh, you know, and the funny thing is, is that everybody, you know, it's so funny. It, one of the main things people say to me all the time when they walk in my room, they're like, "I'm so sorry. I'm so hairy." Please don't ever be sorry. You're yeah. not as hairy as you think you are. First of all, and yeah. it's no reason to be sorry. Hey, oh, that's you're such a good here to rectify it. I mean. Yeah, that's a start. That's why you're here. Right. Yeah, I think being comfortable with the person that's waxing you, obviously the first time you meet Thank them, you. it's not going to be like, it's done. Like, instant comfort. And I'm still alive. It's not <laughs> painful at all. There was no crying, no bleeding. No. No shrieking. None. Amongst all the excitement to catch up with Val after the wax, we totally forgot to close out the video. So I wanted to do that now. I haven't had any new hair growth since my wax a week ago. It usually takes about 10 days as Val was saying in the video earlier. 
um, but I do exfoliate the area and you've probably heard me talk about the cool fix before which is a blue gel that you can apply on areas that are irritated either from shaving or waxing and usually when I get home from my wax I apply a small amount of that to the bikini area and it helps I think drastically probably with ingrown hairs the most um, I am susceptible to that that's just how my hair is but I find with regular exfoliation several days after a wax until my next wax um, I notice far less ingrown hairs um, so we also wanted to tell you how much we love everyone at smooth wax bar everyone is so considerate and kind so it's fun for us to go because it's it's like catching up with old friends which I think that's really important it's a great spot super comfortable and cozy they always have the best smelling candles lit when you walk in and everyone just makes you feel super comfortable so if you're nervous highly recommend smooth wax bar um, they will treat you right so whatever you're looking for be sure to check out their website they have a full list of the services it's super easy to book an appointment you can do all of that online um, and there are reward points so after so many visits or if you refer other people you can build up points to use towards a free a free service honestly we've never been so happy to have the hair ripped out of our bodies <laughs> so we hope that you check them out and if you do tell them that we sent you you saw our video um, and go support a local business in baltimore and if this is something that you like and you would like to see more local business reviews uh, let us know because we certainly like to highlight things in the area hidden gems that you may not know about so give this video a thumbs up and comment below what you thought about it and if you're thinking of trying your first wax i know when we put the uh the teaser out there on insta stories a few people did dm us and they were so excited that we were going to be kind of showing you how easy it is um, and not awkward at all. So, uh, I hope this was helpful and we'll catch you next time. Bye.